right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go. Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys a Pixar story book collection book that I just picked up from Walmart. Okay, it has different Pixar stories. And this story, the first story will be Onward, Mighty Mom. Okay. Alright, let's get into this. Early one morning, Ian, Barley, and Laurel Lightfoot arrived at Manticore's tavern. The Manticore directed the co construction crew as they tore away the tavern's modern facade. Soon, it would be returned to its former glory as a quest landmark. Thank goodness you're here, exclaimed the Manticore. The reopening is coming up fast, and I need all the help I can get. The Lightfoots didn't waste any time. Ian used magic to summon equipment from the supply closet. Laurel grabbed a sledgehammer and began to tear down a wall. A few spiders crawled out of the hole she'd made. Ugh, Oral cried. I hate spiders. Ian laughed. Mom, you fought a dragon. Spiders are nothing. They're so creepy. I'd rather fight a dragon. Laurel said she continued to knock down the wall. As Laurel worked, she came across an old nameplate. Shanter's Talon, she read. Where does it go? Nowhere. I never actually found the Talon. The Metric Corp laughed. I had always planned to go on a quest to retrieve it, but I got too busy running the tavern. According to legend, Ian said, pulling the quest of your book from his backpack. Shantar's talent brought endless prosperity. Oh, that sounds nice. We'll find it and display it at the grand reopening, Laurel said. I love that idea, exclaimed the Manticore. The map burned up in the fire, but the whispering elm knows the way. As the group prepared to leave, Laurel realized something. How dangerous will this be? Oh, it'll be easy for you three said the Manticore. The Lightfoots arrived at a grocery store called Journey Mart. A whispering elm was handing out flyers by the front door. Hello, said, Mil said Laurel. Can you tell us how to find Shanter's talent? Wow, that really takes me back, said the elm. You must reach the center of the labyrinth and face the mighty Minotaur. The Lightfoots looked at one another nervously. My friend Willow will help, said the elm, pointing to another tree in the distance. Willow sent the family to the top of a hill. They were confused by what they saw on the other side. Shanter's talent is in the mall, said Ian. Of course, exclaimed Barley. The Lambreth Mall was once an actual Lambreth. Inside the mall, the Lightfoot studied a giant map. Laurel flagged down a security guard. Excuse me, could you tell me, uh, tell us how to get to the center of the mall? Make a right and then a left and another right, the mandatory said dully. The Lightfoot followed the guard's instructions, but all they found was a children's play area. Laurel pointed to the giant ball, ball pit. There's a mandatory in the center. The family jumped into the ball pit. A golden crest on the Minotaur's pedestal caught Ian's eye. Laurel pulled the padding away from the pedestal and found a blocked archway. The animate spell should do the trick, said Ian. Presto avar. The bricks moved. After the lifeless entered, the brick slammed back into place. They were plunged into total darkness. Flame, inferno, Ian said. A bright flame ignited at the top of his staff, illuminating an ancient stone staircase. Barley created a torch and led the way. Looks like the only way out is forward. 
The group made their way to a massive chamber. They shuffled along together. Barley moved to the back with his torch, and Laurel kept looking around. She was anticipating the worst. Something doesn't feel right to me, Laurel said, coming to a halt. Why haven't we run into anyone or anything? She found a discarded suit of armor on the ground and put it on. Maybe this will come in handy. I'll see if the danger detection spell can help us, said Ian. The top of the staff glowed an ominous deep red. Mm. Suddenly, a giant spider scooped up all three of them and wove them tighter and tighter into its web. Ian's staff clattered to the floor, out of reach. The manticore said this quest would be easy, cried Ian. Why did it have to be a spider? added Laurel. Just when all hope seemed to be lost, Barley spotted something in an alcove, alcove below them. Chanter's Talion, he exclaimed. It's right there. They could finish this quest after all. Barley reached and reached, but it was no use. They were too far away. Then Laurel had an idea. Okay, Laurel, come through. <laughs> Laurel used the sharp edge of the armor to cut them down. Although she managed to escape, the boys were still trapped in the web. She dashed toward an axe across the chamber. Laurel faced the creature. If I can defeat a dragon, I can defeat you. She dodged, weaved, and rolled so quickly that the spider became disoriented. Go on here, Laurel. Get him. <laughs> Don't let fear stop you. With the spider confused, Laurel freed the boys from the web. Way to go, Mom, cheered Barley. Ian grabbed his staff. They needed a diversion to escape. Cumulo Mistara, Ian cried. The room filled with thick fog. As the spider struggled to see, Laurel sprinted to the alcove and grabbed the talon. Got it, she shouted. Now let's get out, now let's get out of here. The lifeless ran out of the chamber just as the last of the fog cleared. Mm. The family managed to find their way out of the tunnel and the mall. They arrived back at the tavern. You did it, the manticore exclaimed. She placed the talent on the wall with her other relics. I'm finally ready for the grand opening. I got to hand it to you, Mom, Barley said. That was pretty cool. We're lucky to have such a fearless and mighty mom, Ian added. Laurel smiled and gave them a big hug. Let's plan our next adventure, she said. Man, yeah, I know about having a strong mom. I got a strong mom. Shoot, sure, I know we, a lot of us do, shoot. Sure. All right, guys. That is Onward. Mighty Mom. All right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already, guys. All right, guys. Bye.